Good morning, students. Today we are dealing with a new topic: simple equations. Now, before we get into the deep of these simple equations, just wanted to tell you a few terms in simple equations. Now, what is variable? Variable is nothing but a letter which appears with the number. Why it is called as a variable? Because it it does not have a definite value. If I tell x is a variable, we can give this any number. I can give one, two, three, four, and so on. It does not have any definite value. That is the reason we are calling this as a variable. Now, if I write four x plus five, what do you call this one? These are called as terms and these are called again term okay now these two are term why because it is been separated by an operation which is an addition so whenever you see any uh, alphabet and a constant which has been separated by any operation like a plus or a minus then we will term it as a terms this is term one this is term two that means we have two terms here. Now together we call this as algebraic expression. Now what is algebraic expression? It is a combination of a variable and a constant. Now if I tell x, even this becomes an algebraic expression. If I tell x plus 5, algebraic expression. So in simple, algebraic expression is nothing but a combination of a variable and a constant. Now if you see these two, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1. We have three expressions here. Now what is the difference you find here? This we do not have these things. Here it is greater. Here equal. Here we don't have anything. So when you we do not have anything, we can call this as algebraic expression. When we have equal, only then we can call it as algebraic equation. Why do we call it equation? Because we have an equal sign. Can we call this as an equation? We cannot. Why? Because this is not an equal sign. It is a greater sign. When you have equal sign, only then it becomes an equation. So what is simple equation now? In an algebraic expression, when you have an equal sign, only then you will call it as an equation. Equation. These are the examples. Equation. Okay, equation. If you compare all these things, this looks little simple compared to all these three. Because you, here we have power of two, three, three. Now whenever you have power of two, it is called as quadratic equation. <coughs> when you have power of three, you will call it as cubic equation. All these you will learn in your next classes. So as of now, let us deal with simple equation. Now this is called as simple equation. Now if I write 7x, 7 times x is equal to 7x or 7 into x is equal to 7x. Which one is true in this? This 
is incorrect. This is true. How do you write this in words? Can I write seven times of x equal to seven x? Okay, seven x is nothing but whenever you do a multiplication, when I tell four y, this is nothing but four times of y. Same way if I write four plus y, how do you write this in words? Is it four times of y or sum of four and y? What is the meaning of sum? Sum is addition. When I tell times multiplication, sum is addition, times is multiplication. And how do you tell for subtraction? If I tell 4 minus x, how do you tell this in words? 4 minus x. Now what has been subtracted? x has been subtracted from 4, which is nothing but taken away. Can I write x is taken away from 4 x is taken away from 4 now these are the simple things which we learn in a simple equation sum of 3 times Sum of 3 and y means what? 3 plus y Sum of 3 and y is 9. 3 plus y is 9. Second example. If you subtract if you subtract Five from six times a number you get seven. If you subtract five from six times a number, you get seven. Now we don't know what is 6 times a number, so we can write it as let the number, let the number be x. So what is 6 times a number? Therefore, 6 times a number equal to 6x. Correct? Now, if you subtract 5 from 6 times x, that means 6 times x is 6x. 
how much you are subtracting? You are subtracting 5. You get 7 equal to 6 times the number subtract 5 gives 7. This is how when they give you in words, you have to write it in equation. Now let's move to the exercise, which is 4.1. Now in exercise 4.1 In exercise 4.1 They are given a table Serial number Equation Value Now in this, the equation is x plus 3 is equal to 0. x value is 3. Now what they are asking here is, equation x plus 3, value of x they have given 3. Now when you put the value of x to this equation, do we get 0 or not? That is what they are asking here. Okay? Now x value is 3, right? So 3 plus 3 is equal to, see, x value 3. This 3 here. So when you put this value, we get 0. But what is here? We get 6. Is 6 equal to 0? 6 is not equal to 0. So you are asking here. Similarly, the next one is x minus 7 is equal to 1. This is the equation. The value which they have given x is equal to 8. Now here, in place of x, write this number. What do you get? 8 minus 7 is equal to 1. This one is 100 as it is. 8 minus 7 is how much? 1. So are we getting the answer same? So you are writing here as x. So in 4.1 first mean, what are they telling you here is they have given the equation and the value of variable. Just put the value of variable, see do you get the same answer. Now whenever you have an equation, this part is called as R L H S and this part is called as R H S. Now what is L H S is left hand side. This is in the left, this is right. So that is why it is called as left hand side. And this one is right hand side. Now usually in most of the simple equations, the right hand side will always be a number. Either it will be a number or a zero. Now in the 4.1, first to me, you just have to verify that RHS, that is right hand side is equal to left hand side or not. If it is equal, put it as yes. If it is not equal, then put it as no. Okay, now in the 4.1 second main. 4.1 second main. Check whether the value given in the brackets is a solution to the given equation or not. It is nothing but it is the same as it is in first name. n plus 5 is equal to 
Now when I tell solution, this is known as solution. Okay. Now when you are giving the value n, 1 plus 5, we get it as 6. Now this is origin, right? Origin is how much? 19. How much we got LHS? 6. Therefore, LHS is not equal to RHS. Hence, N is equal to 1 is not a solution. Now, when you give the value of N and when you get the answer, whatever there in RHS, only then you can tell it as a solution. If you are not getting that value, then it is not a solution. So the similar problems you will find in second main and I want everyone to try the same. Now let's get into the third main. Solve the following equations by trial and error method. Now what is trial and error method is 6x plus 1 is equal to 7. Now here they have not given the value of x here. We can give it as whichever we want. Let's start with x is equal to 0. Now in place of x put it as 0 which is nothing but 6 multiply 0 plus 1. How much we get? 6 into 0, 0. Plus 1, which is nothing but 1. Here, what do we have? It is not equal to 7. That next will be x is equal to 1. 6 into 1 plus 1, which is nothing but 6 into 1, 6. Plus 1 is 7. So are we getting 7 here? It is equal to 7. Therefore, x is equal to 1 is the solution. Trial and error method is nothing but you are just giving the values. Whichever values you want, you can give. And when you give the values, if and only if you get the answer, then that will be the solution. Okay, what is trial and error method? You are giving any values to the variable just to check that if we get the answer of right hand side. Now let's do a problem from 30. Find P plus 2 is equal to 70. Now here instead of x and y they've given us P. Let's start with 0. P is equal to 0. 5 into 0 plus 2, which gives you 0 plus 2, which is 2 P is not equal to 7. Second value. P is equal to 1. 5 into 1 plus 2, which is equal to 5 plus 2, which is 7, is not equal to 17. P is equal to 2. 5 into 2 plus 2, which is 10 plus 2, is 12, is not equal to 17. P is equal to 3. 5 into 3 plus 2, which gives you 15 plus 2, which is 17 equal to 70. So that means when we give the value of P that is P is equal to 3 is the solution. This is how this is called the trial
neutral and error method. And in third main, you have one more problem and I want you to try this out. Okay? So that means 4.1, 4 4.1 second main, third main. I'm sure you should be able to do this. Again, if you have any doubts on this, we will sort it out in the interactive session. And thank you so much.